Women's college basketball is almost back. Are you ready? Because I am. November 4th kicks off the women's college basketball season. And we're taking trips to Paris to start off the season. Yes, let's do it big. We can expect from this season tons of great basketball, even across the pond. It starts with two doubleheader games in Paris, uh, Ole Miss versus USC. If we talk about preseason AP poll rankings, this is a top 20 matchup. USC, probably one of the most talked about teams this season, Juju Watkins. The freshman last year averaged 27 points per game. We're excited to see what she's going to do for her sophomore campaign. And they've added Kiki Iriafin, a transfer from Stanford, now at USC. It begs the question, can Juju and Kiki be the best post guard duo we're going to see in the country? Both of them are AP All-Americans in the preseason. Man, I'm excited to see these two combine on the court, both offensively and defensively. Game number two in Paris, it features Ole Miss and Louisville. Again, another top 20 matchup. But what an iconic way for these four teams to start their season overseas, playing across the pond. And I really love that this helps grow the women's college basketball game globally. Let's talk about the returning champs. Can South Carolina repeat? They won the national championship last year, had an undefeated and perfect season, 38-0 and under head coach Dawn Staley for her third national championship. And Dawn continues to build a legacy with the Gamecocks. They come back this year and they lost one player from last year's championship team. It's Camilla Cardoso, the WNBA Chicago Sky Center, was a WNBA draft pick, so she has moved on. But here's who they replace, not necessarily in Camilla's position, but they add to their team, Joyce Edwards, who is a clear top five recruit out of high school. She has made an impact already. I've heard a ton about her game, her versatility, and she's from down the road right in Camden, South Carolina. So it's a nice homecoming for her. I'm excited to see what this freshman can do under Dawn Staley. If it's not the Gamecocks repeating as back-to-back -back champions, then maybe it's UConn's year. It's been since 2016 that the UConn Huskies have won a national championship. We have been talking about Paige Becker. She's told us about the work tour that she went on this summer getting in the gym. And they bring back AZ Fudd. Remember AZ, a sharpshooter? She only played two games last season due to injury. But I talked to her last week at Big East Media Day, and she told me she's 100%. She's ready to get back on the court and make an impact for these Huskies. And they want to win a national championship. That is their goal this year. Paige Beckers, AZ Fudd, and the Huskies added Sarah Strong, who's on the Cheryl Miller Award watch list for the preseason as a freshman. That recognizes the best small forward in the country. I'm excited to see what Sarah can do with Paige, with AZ, under Gino. Can they get a national championship for the first time since 2016? Ooh, the Irish. I'm going to tell you all right now, this is going to be one of my favorite teams to watch this season because of what they have in their backcourt. They return the sophomore Hannah Hidalgo, which was the ACC Defensive Player of the Year. She led the country in steals and one of the best scoring guards in the country. She is now paired with the return of Olivia Miles. Olivia Miles is also an All-American point guard. And again, this could be the best backcourt in the country in terms of scoring in terms of rebounding, in terms of steals and defense, and then also dishing the ball out. I'm excited to see what Hannah and Olivia can do together. Both of them are All-American point guards, and with the rest of the players on this team, they are easily one of the most talented and experienced teams in the country. They've reached the Sweet 16 the last three years straight. I'm wondering if Neil Ivey, head coach of the Irish, can get this team past the Sweet 16 possibly to a final four on to Texas, who a part of conference realignment is back in the sec. So that means we get head coach Vic Schaefer of Texas and head coach Don Staley showdowns. I don't know about y'all, but I miss them going head to head in the sec. Now you talk about what Texas has coming into this season. It's the return of Madison Booker. She was the first player ever to win the big 12 player of the year as a rookie, she was a point forward, lights out, dominant on the ball. She returns for her second season, and they get back Rory Harmon, an All-American point guard, one of the best two-way players in the country. She's back from a knee injury and ready to make her return. Texas, we know they are all about defense under Vic Schaefer, which is why they consistently can make deep runs in the tournament. Could it be this year, though, to get a national championship? 
It's so many new names, faces, and coaches this season. Who will be our national champion? Will it be Dawn Staley and the Gamecocks returning and going back to back? Could it be the Yukon Huskies for the first time since 2016? You also got to think there's Notre Dame, there's Texas, and there's USC with one of the best players we've seen recently in college basketball, Juju Watkins. I'm excited for women's college basketball to return on November 4th. Settle in, buckle up. It's going to be a great season, folks.